what you're telling me is to get a full detailed view of the effective rights an individual user has, we need to take into account the different levels of entitlements at the application as well as the objects themselves? Hey Ryan, I know we've talked through Salesforce entitlements at a high level from a conceptual standpoint, but I think it makes sense to dive in and take a look at them from a practical standpoint. Can you show us what that looks like? Yeah, definitely. You know, when we think about Salesforce, like many other applications, you know, you have a series of users in the application. You also have a series of permissions and you know, each of these cloud apps tends to have a unique permission model. Uh, I think a good place to start to take a look at this is within the, the setup view in, you know, your Salesforce tenant. Uh, if we pick on our good friend, Alan Carey here, for example, again, just a test user within this lab. Uh, when I look at Alan's user page, I can see specific details around this account. I can see the profile that's applied to this user, the standard user in this particular case. I can also see a few more details all the way, you know, getting down to the point where we can see the different permission sets that are applied. Again, a different type of entitlement or permissioning object within the Salesforce world. Now to understand, you know, what Alan can actually do, we need to start to dive into the details a little bit within each of these entitlements. Yeah, that makes sense. And that's the interesting thing about how this sort of works is that there are multiple different layers that add or remove rights for a particular user and to what objects in the environment. So can you take us into what uh, one of those looks like for us? Yeah, totally. Let's take a look at the standard user profile. So if I click on that here, that's going to jump me over to the profile page for this particular, you know, standard user. Uh, and I can see the different details within that. So I have, you know, the profile detail who created it when it was created, uh, the different layouts that are impacted by this particular profile. Again, we're starting to define what a user can view or have access to from the object or the record layer within the Salesforce environment. Uh, I also have field level security. So within those records, I have specific fields and, you know, we have controls around that as well. And then I also have application controls or, you know, system settings that can be controlled through profile entitlement. Uh, so again, pretty detailed, pretty in the weeds, and a lot of different things that are controlled through each of these types of entitlements within the Salesforce, Salesforce environment. So what you're telling me is to get a full detailed view of the effective rights an individual user has, we need to take into account the different levels of entitlements at the application as well as the objects themselves? Yep, spot on. <laughs> 